So we're going to dive into one, my childhood. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Place for Artists. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Now I was rummaging through my artist's graveyard that I call it where I kind of have this box that I've had since I started taking my art journey serious back in like 2010, 2009. And I've been carrying this box around with me ever since then. So we're gonna dive in, check out what's inside this thing cause I haven't literally seen the inside of this since like 2014. And we're gonna create a little spooky Halloween piece. Okay guys, so let's open this up for the very first time and oh my God, this is so dirty. Can you guys see that? Oh my, I must have been really into red. So it comes with this really cool mixing palette and oh my God, is this thing disgusting. Disgusting! Look at that. Look at how dirty my palette is. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is clean up this palette and bring her back to life. Say you don't wanna be with me, but you miss me as soon as it's over. Okay guys, and here is the now clean palette. Like, look at that. I did the best I could to get it pretty clean. And then here is the mixing palette. Cleaned up pretty well. Kinda have this weird corner thingy. But overall, let's get to painting. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life So you stole my life but clearly So hold me back, now you're here Cause I'm mad, show no fear wanna I don't know if you guys can see that But there's like sparkles in my, my paint I don't know if that's from my palette But I did clean my palette really well before So yeah, that's really weird let you know just how it felt Oh no 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 Don't you, don't you think we're good I'm adding just a touch of this color, right? And then when I put it in here Can you guys see that? Can you see those chunks of I don't know, whatever they are And they're like not really breaking down They're just floating around stuff is just oh yeah right there you can see it you see that all those little black particles right there i am not i'm not sure what that is or really anything but yeah those black particles are not from me life was dull until you came i was breathless when we first met Away. I was speechless when we first met, yeah You took the pain away, didn't mind my scars Mend my broken heart Life was dull until you came Now I see in color again It could rain, I don't mind if it pours Cause I'm right next to you, to you working with my first palette honestly I can say that these watercolors are not that bad like they're opaque so you can layer them and they're also transparent if you water them down enough and you're smart about your layering as far as the black chunky bits I don't know what it is about them and why <laughs> the set is very chunky but they're not chalky, they don't rub off and get everywhere, they dry really quick. But overall, I rate this a 8 out of 10. I don't know about the light fastness, but as far as working with them, it was really fun. 
I absolutely adore how she came out. She came out so cute. So if you guys would like to see the battle of the mediums where I test Copic markers versus watercolors, you can check out that video right here or here depending on where it pops up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!